Welcome to another episode of How We Roll, where we film great game designers running role-playing games that they designed. Tonight's episode is Burning Wheel by Luke Crane. Burning Wheel is a fantasy role-playing game ideally suited for long-term campaign play. It has a reputation for being extremely complex, which is why I like it. Burning Wheel, to me, I have to admit, Burning Wheel is probably one of my favorite fantasy role-playing games ever. It's uh, at the core of the system, you have the beliefs. Every character picks three beliefs that really sum up what that character is all about. What, what is it that this character wants to do? And you get rewarded for playing to the beliefs. Instead of the GM coming up with an adventure off in isolation, the GM's job is to respond to the beliefs that the characters uh, have and create uh, situations based on those. Uh, it's a skill-based system. It's got a great uh, system for creating characters with the uh, life paths and so on. And uh, it's just in incredibly well designed. It's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy watching it. So tonight, we're going to run through the classic Burning Wheel demo scenario called The Sword. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it is, uh, the action is focused uh, around uh, uh, the eponymous sword. Uh, you'll choose one of four characters, and uh, you'll do your best to, um, to navigate <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the, the chaos. So I'm your GM. I'm Luke. Uh, I'm, I'm your GM. Uh, why don't we uh, introduce ourselves? Andy. I'm John. Colin. I'm Wilhelm. We're going to play the sword. Uh, and so now we're going to choose characters. Okay, so there are four characters in the scenario. Um, Siz, as uh, the cultist, is, as Wilhelm called him, the rat. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he is, in, in, our, in our world, he's called Eroden. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's a, basically a little three and a half foot rat man. Uh, Brechtons. Um, uh, uh, the Dwarven Adventurer, who, a, a bit of trivia, uh, Brechton's best translates in ger into German as puke dance. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Fidian, Fithian, if you pronounce him with the Tokian, uh, Fithian. No. No. <laughs> That's how the, that is how Tokian would pronounce it. I, he's not here. Yeah, we're just gonna, he's dead. we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Uh, Fithian is a bard. <laughs> <laughs> he's an elven bard. Uh, r rather good with the his voice. Um, and Robard is a human uh, criminal. It's a poor bastard. <laughs> gambler, really. More than a criminal. He's not a, ga he's not a ga criminal. He's a gambler down in his luck. And he's out looking for the sword to pay his debts. So each of the characters uh, has their own motivation for wanting the sword. Uh, but you should just pick them based on whatever interests you. So, uh, so Wilhelm has, uh, has asked for the, the rat. Is it, Mr. Harper has challenged me to a roll off. I oh. have indeed. So this, is a, this is a custom of, of our demo scenarios, yeah. is that if two players yeah. want the same character, we just roll a die six to whoever gets higher. Ooh, Ooh that's not looking good. <laughs> There's a one and a four. All's fair in love and d6s. I'm, our our would-be down on luck gambler is, is a thing that's maybe simple and good. Okay, take, well that leaves the dwarf. I'll, I'll, take the the guy, I'll take the guy with the superpower. <laughs> That's a hat. The guy with the super. Uh, the dwarf? He's the only person with a hat. 
Yeah. Oh. Definitely. Yeah. Should have played. It is a superpower. In the <laughs> Which <laughs> <laughs> was a heavy oh, sigh. <laughs> Brave <laughs> Wilhelm. <laughs> All right, so you've journeyed long through this crumbling ancient citadel, down through ruined chambers into muck-filled tubes. Uh, you arrive at last in the wreckage of a collapsed temple and laying on the shattered altar in the chamber before you. Is that what you seek? The sword. So, Sis leads. Sis has a lantern. Uh, in his, uh, uh, in one hand, he has his his beaten wooden shield in the other paw, um, and he is your he has been hired as your guide to the underworld, the below as he calls it, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, right. And he he spreads his paws magnanimously and and points to this this uh, crumbling chamber and says, "There it is," or something approximating that. Here is that which you seek, over dwellers. So there is a a, a sarcophagus type uh, shape in the room, and you see that there's a, a scabbard built into it, uh, and you know clasped by two stone hands, and sticking out of it is a real, uh, you know, is the, a metal uh, and jeweled sword uh, sword hilt. It's about maybe ten paces from your from the doorway in which you're standing. Well, I will lead the way over with the lantern too, so they can admire the. The treasure more closely. Okay. Uh, definitely keeping my eye on this elf. Not to be trusted. So Sis skitters across the the uh, broken flagstones with ease, and shines a lantern uh, on the uh, ageless gleaming hilt of this uh, the weapon. Come forward, friends. Let us gaze Walk upon out. what you have gathered to help me seek. For it you. is an you. arduous journey we have taken, but at last we may uh, view the, uh, the this item which. Uh, which we have so long sought. There it is, clasped, uh, in, you know, a stone scabbard clasped by stone hands. Uh, it seems that one could draw it forth if one wished. I, uh, I, I would like to interrupt or at the very end of the elf speech there and say, ah, but surely, uh, friend elf, uh, the, as we know, the, the dwarf has just as rightful a claim to it as you. <laughs> we must still settle the matter. I get a nice long look at it. You're gonna inspect it. Is I'm it? gonna inspect it. Okay. Gonna, gonna. Um, it seems to be uh, something well crafted. Um, very interesting try. A lot of lot of details catch yeah. your attention. So, uh, so Colin is begging to test his uh, always his, his greed. <laughs> so in this case, it's a, it's a what's called a greed <coughs> test. So he's actually trying to resist his greedy nature. Gr uh, greed is damnation for dwarves, uh, though it is in its damnation it is quite powerful. Um, and Colin knows this. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I do. So Colin needs to test he, uh, his steel stats. So if you look, if you flip your character sheets over and you look on your attributes, so he has to roll his uh, B five. His B five steel against his hesitation. Yep. Okay. Because my greed is lower. What's your What's your hesitation? Five. So that means he needs to get five successes on five dice. Now steel special in that it automatically explodes uh, sixes. So okay. he rolled three successes three and two successes. Two sixes. Sixes. So 50-50 so chance. He nice. begins to tremble. Nice. Oh. Ooh, hello. Oh, and he rolled, so he's rolled another six. four yeah. successes, right, with another six and... Trauma. Oh. oh! Three sixes, a five, and a one. Let me consult the rules, for I believe there is a procedure. There is a procedure. What? There's a procedure for greed, for failed greed tests. The player chooses one of two reactions. Either you may stand and drool, or invoke the I must have it rule. So I'm going to take the interesting one of the two. And, uh, you know, they're sitting here bantering mm -hmm. about, oh, it's it's the elves. and you know, I, I'm insisting that you have a claim to it. Right, you're insisting that, and I'm, like, looking at it. And we I'm haven't really figured it. that out yet. Yeah, I don't um, think we've come to that. Reaching up, and I'm just picking it up. All right, so his trembling hand reaches forth and grasps the hilt. Uh, does anybody care? Uh, oh, certainly. He caught everybody's attention. Certainly mine. I step back away from the immediate area. Okay. Just sort of I take a few steps back to the rear. I'll leave, leave the light shining on the sword, but out of, out of immediate reach. As the rat steps back, uh, Vivian will sort of step back with him and sort of, you know, put a, put a little hand behind him to... Uh, you know, keep be, getting too far away. Yeah, uh, you know, to express you. his friendship and also to <laughs> oh, you're expressing keep him your friendship, well, well, uh, well within in, oh. in reach, in front but, of you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then the uh, so with all eyes on him, uh, whether close uh, or far, uh, too close. Rectons okay. 
draws the sword forth from the uh, stone scabbard with a ring. Uh, it seems a good blade. I suppose you fancy that. Tell us, friend dwarf. Indeed, I do. Your people are known for their <laughs> craftsmanship. What can you What can you tell us of the making of this weapon? I, I would like to give it a real close look there in that in that moment when the elf is asking about its origin. Um, as long as you aren't looking like you're going for it. No, no, no. Are you, I mean, are you 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 know sticking your nose? Uh, into it? Yeah, probably. Twitching, I'm a little rat the person. The yeah, and there's whiskers twitching and proximity is really important. Beady eyes. That's what they do. Flickering. Not uh, not. Well, I'm gonna try not to look too greedy about it. Uh, <laughs> But uh, just, you know, at, when the elf says that, uh, I think I sort of, sort of put my nose in, like, mm, yeah, yes. Okay. Let's, uh, let's the, see. It has, uh, <clears throat> so you, you poke your nose in, and, and you see that uh, it is indeed well-made uh, and sharp. Uh, there are, appear to be elven runes in the fuller, uh, and uh, filigree, and small uh, gems uh, in the hilt and pommel. Uh, but... Let us see what that tells you. I would like to give you a helping die. Oh, would you? Yes. So what uh, do you say? Well, you are embracing me in a, as a sign of friendship. <laughs> yes, right. that's right. Um, I am, I am, I, uh, as you are looking close, uh, the runes that uh, Luke mentioned, um, I will I will point to them and, and uh, recite passages from the Ballad of History that, uh, that uh, relate to, to the runes. All right. Yes, right. see awesome. here the, uh, the, uh, the inheritance of uh, Eladrin from Fidian is marked. <laughs> and uh, in Burning Wheel, what, so uh, when <clears throat> you can help in any test that you feel like you have a related skill or ability, uh, and when you do so, you pass uh, physically pass one mm -hmm. die to um, uh, the, the player you're helping. All right, so you're yeah holding the sword aloft. You all peer closely. Can I stop um, fidgeting for once. All right, so uh, four to five, two Negative. successes out of four. No sixes, so can't open end, so that is a fail by one. What conclusions do I come to? <clears throat> Erroneous uh, conclusions, I guess. Well, it's clearly a forgery. Damn. I, I don't think I can control myself. I look extremely disappointed and, and sort of screech <clears throat> and pull my nose away from it and then compose myself. Uh... uh it, yes, uh, the elf, uh, uh, he, he, of course, the, the song and the history and whatnot. Um, it's very old. You, you helped in this test, too, so you're, yeah. you're bound in that result. You're, okay. you're starting to doubt the providence of the sword, too, and thinking that it also might be a forgery. I, I think I will eye you surreptitiously okay. to see if, you've, if you're sharing in this realization with me. My face will, will fall as well. Is this is this then what we saw? It it's, uh, well, per it's hard to say, but perhaps it's uh, <clears throat> a forgery. So wait, wait, okay. So can I can I interrupt? You? <laughs> yes. Can I, so remember, it is also in your best interest to get paid. Uh, yeah, but I want the sword too, though. You do. You want two things. If they think it's a forgery, it might be an easier. But you think it's okay. a forgery. All right, too, play, play on, play on. Okay, I just, mean, you could go either way. Right? Just double checking. So, yeah. Just getting in there. Okay. I think I'm, I was going to going for getting paid, but now I'm thinking I might be able to get the sword this way. <laughs> <laughs> Onward. But doesn't he think it's a forgery as well? Because he failed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I need the sword to for reasons that right, it right. being a forgery well, may not matter. Oh, right. <laughs> so how does Rectans feel um, about the sword being declared a forgery? The sword <laughs> for which he lusts mightily. It may be a forgery of some elven sword, but it's mine. And it's my family's. And it's coming back with me. So do you lust after this particular sword, regardless <laughs> yes. of it's, what its true nature is? Because I, I failed that thing. Not the idea of the real one, but this particular this, one. Because I, I failed it. it <laughs> it's in my <laughs> it doesn't really matter. grippy yeah. dwarven mitts. I, I, I noticed that. I'm really bummed eyes. that that's <laughs> the case. <laughs> well, I, I'm putting forward this plan. Uh, I, I think... Um, my cursory examination uh, did not reveal its true nature, but perhaps if I have more time to study it closely, uh, I could come to some further understanding. Maybe there's another and sword in here. It is, I think, extremely and likely. You can have that one. That thieves may have, or uh, the uh, not thieves. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. The uh, <laughs> the builders of this of this tomb may may uh, be far too clever, uh, and have put this here just to to, to try to get us to leave. <clears throat> So I suggest that this is our plan, and the dwarf perhaps could allow me to take and temporary uh, possession of the blade in order to 
examine its tang. So what do you want to convince him of? What's your stake in this? You what have the sword. To to? I have you the sword. You don't want to give the sword. You don't have I'll to pay you. Sword. I haven't given you a reason to give it to me, I guess, yeah. either. No, um, right. I'll pay you and you can buy a different sword. This oh, are you offering mine. to pay uh, my fee? My part of your fee? Uh, well, that's different. Less interesting. Well, it seems you're in an impasse. I'd like to give the human and the elf a quick glance and, <laughs> yeah. and, and sort of take their temperature here. Uh, As I start to see, see this tension building up, um, I'm going to pull out my flute and oh I'm going boy. to begin to there play the go. song of soothing. Oh, oh, dear God. God. You <laughs> dick! So do you do you? So does that kick you over? I don't know. Oh, you start so to good. you start to feel the elven magics. I know. And then you just well, I'm trying to think. Like I've probably been around elves. Well, maybe I haven't actually. No, you probably haven't. This might I might not be su super suspicious. Well, I, I mean, except but, that he just suddenly did, pulled John out a flute. Sure. Do the interesting thing here. What do you think? Uh, when when the dwarf gives yeah. me the crazy eyes and the elf takes his flute out, <laughs> you'll lose your shit. I I turn all ratty. Yeah. And I just like rah, rah, yeah, and I bear the fangs and I don't even use words. I just I like Treat you like another member you, of my you, pack. You puff up. No. Uh, your intent here is to uh, get him to I, drop the sword. To drop the sword, yes. And I'm going to snatch it up. That's a, so it, you have a great skill. You have falsehood for this. All you have to do is, it, is offer some uh, offer a, a bit of a falsehood to the uh, the dwarf. and uh, He's doing the physical part of the right. intimidation. He's the one staring him down. Okay. Yeah. Right? So you're the, you know, you're the... the you're going to feed into the fact that it's worthless... The sword isn't the one you need. It's worthless. Give it up. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes. All right. Great. Perfect. All right, so John, you're going to grab four <coughs> dice, I think, for your intimidation. Uh, if I'm correct, not mistaken. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to toss in one die for your falsehood help. Thank Boom. you. Boom. Uh, the, no, so the, the dwarf in this case does not roll to resist. You're trying to hit an uh, obstacle equal to his will of five, <laughs> which, five. which is Very tremendous. Very good. All right, then. All right, so I have six dice. Dwarf, uh, dwarf is willful. You have five successes. I made tiny rat hissing. It must be terrifying. When my cat gets mad, it's, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Five out of six ends are pretty. You know, puke dance is a pretty good name for a cat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, two. two. Two successes on six dice. All right, so that's a, so currently okay. you've failed. Yeah. Uh, would you like to call on your hackles? I, yes, I would like to call on my hackles. All right, so right, so the, the rat doubles down, he's, <laughs> and then his hackles rise up. He looks a lot bigger than he is, looks a lot scarier than he is. And so now you get to re-roll all the dice that came up failures. Hooray. Oh, oh. one more. So Do you want with one with that six, six? Yeah. can you get two successes on one die? Sure. It's possible. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, six. Oh, oh, it was right there. It dipped. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, so there, you know, the rat is in, yeah, and, and Robard's like, "Come on, uh, <laughs> get over. Uh, you don't need it's it. a fake. What's the you name? don't, you don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, yeah. You, you know, you're buying like you're wearing a breastplate. You have a sword in your hand. You got a nice hat. You got a nice hat. <laughs> it's what? Knock that off!" <laughs> so you round on the elf with a like, knock that off. Knock that off. I, we're not scary, you, so like, you go after. What's the dwarf physically doing? Like, are you backing up? I'm, you... Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm backing off. I mean, he's rawr, and I'm like, whoa. And then I notice that the elf is getting all elfy over there. Right. It's like, Music tastic. <laughs> so Wilhelm, if I'm not mistaken, to, in order to get the effect you're looking for, you have to hit the the base obstacle I for did, the spell. I used it. Okay. Uh, okay. For my back. It's ob two. Okay. So I'm using, by your suggestion, the Song of Songs, forking in Song of Soothing. So Sounds good. three for the Song of Songs, plus one for the Song of Soothing gives me four. Okay. And I only get one success. Comes up with one. Wow, lots of failure. So... Uh, so so um, as the as the confrontation is going down, uh, I'm playing. I'm I'm you know playing the song of songs. I'm weaving weaving in some of the gentle path, path, passages from the song of soothing, um, and then when the dwarf rounds on me, uh, that just breaks my concentration. <laughs> right. Sure. Sure. And I and I take my flute and I and I I put it away and I was like. I should have known better than to try and gentle a dwarf. <laughs> the, the, the stone nature is too strong in you. <laughs> but still, friends, we, we must not come to blows here surrounded by enemies. So, so as if on uh, cue, right? It's yeah. surrounded by uh, enemies, right? And the dwarf, yeah, because the dwarf's like, uh, stop it, and his voice uh, echoes. That off. And the elf, like, of course, uh, continues talking, and then you guys hear the scurrying of 
feet in the darkness all around you. Are they, are they little ratty feet? I don't know. Oh. I would love to know that. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to call out or something? Ooh, yeah. I'll, I'll, give, a, I'll give a little... They already know we're here. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> a little ratty. What was, that, what was that again? It was a little... <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the scurrying goes silent, and then it, it, in the darkness of the doorway, these green orbs begin to appear. Uh-oh. Pairs. <laughs> and uh, you hear a response uh, in your native dialect. Um, a brat. Sizz. You're late. The prophet, he's waiting. Yes. I, I think, Sizz, perhaps it seems you failed. I, there was but a delay. <laughs> so the, the situation is complex. So, a mangy fur, uh, guardian, uh, yeah, with a similar styled wooden shield and uh, a similar styled sword as yours, you know, rusted and battered, uh, steps into the lantern light. Uh, his name is Haz. Um, and he, allow me to make your acquaintance, friends. I am Haz. Siz is a brother of mine. Well, I, I will bust out a little bit of elf etiquette, and I will <coughs> greet Haz most kindly. W- w- welcome, Haz. Our, your brother has guided us most faithfully and well. We are always pleased to uh, meet others of, of his uh, tribe. Oh, yes. Welcome to our realm. I told you the, el- the, the rat stole it. So I have a feeling that there are more. Yeah, you, yeah he's come with, the, he's come with, a, a, with a crew. As I said, there was, it was merely a delay. Uh, I, I will... Get the prophet what he seeks. He grows restless. He's having visions. Then we must seize it now. Mm. And I douse the lantern. Oh! <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Light goes out, and there is a scurrying of feet. And I, if I can, my first goal is to douse the lantern and jump on the hand holding the sword and start biting him, <laughs> biting his Great. hand. Awesome. So. Uh, the, the lantern light goes out, and what is uh, Fithian going to do? Fithian, um, Fithian is going to uh, take a few steps back and reach into his traveling gear, where uh, surely he has a flint and steel and a torch stowed, and uh, he will begin to try to strike a new light. All right. Uh, I think you are correct. Uh, I, I think I'm, in fact, obligated to allow, allow you to pull that nonsense out of your traveling gear. Uh, he's uh, he's jumping on me. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm grabbing him and I'm pinning him to me and getting the sword up on him. Take him hostage. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, so it sounds like a brawling versus test. So uh, so 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 they're gonna grapple. Uh, he's gonna light a la- uh, uh, point, light something up. At this point, I almost I feel obliged to get involved and support and. And yeah. Okay. You, are you helping me? Yes. Are we? Uh, I yes. thought we were cool. The cult so. is good. All right. It was good. You can use read. Damn, Skippy! I oh, could just. Oh, damn use read. you, Crane! <laughs> Thank you, Crane. Damn you and your rules. Damn me and my rules. It's. Uh, it's good. No, he's holding the thing that. But that's, yeah, that's, he that's, he craves, he's, yeah, he's, right? fight, he's fighting for the the thing that he he it's, lusts it's for. Perfect. This yeah, is your one perfect. shot at <clears> using your greed in this scenario. So the oh. rule is that he the dwarves have a special rule. Right. With a persona point, they can tap their greed. Basically, they can okay. let their greed fuel them uh, for one test, and they get to add a bunch of dice to the test. So okay. basically, you get to add one point. He gets to add his greed rating. Nice. The downside to that is those begin to accrue over time and eventually drive the dwarf mad. Oh, very good. Um, and these <laughs> take on the, the, the whatever it is that the test was, so I don't get like open ended for half of them and stuff. Okay. No. Okay. So um, d- you, does you, my weapon, does my uh, bitey weapon, my incisors, uh, do they help me? Are you are you trying to do damage to him? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. All then, the you'll, then extra successes will be damage. You you also have a massive advantage here since you're skilled and he's not. Oh right. Yeah. So Colin has to get twice as many successes as, as your team because okay. he doesn't have the skill. Got it. He's just using his raw power. He's just hoping for the best. I only got two though, but I do have a six. Uh, as do I. Like two successes. Do All right, and Ty currently goes to Colin. Actually, in this case, yeah. he's the defender. Okay. The tie-breaking rule in this case is Ty goes to the defender. Are you fading it? I I will fade it because that as means you will I. need two more successes. Right. So okay. good. Right. So we got a two successes over here versus call. four over there. So that's a tie. One okay. six. Uh, John's gonna re-roll. 
So uh, or yes, grab, a, add, grab a, a new die. A new dice, because I'm bad at counting. <laughs> Colin, hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got yeah. it. You rolled it, but okay. Okay. Uh, no. Ooh. It's a two. Uh, all right, so you guys. So, so there's mad fun. Yeah, that's a fate into power. The tie that's goes true. to the dwarf. Yep. So there is a, uh, a <coughs> scramble, a tussle uh, for, the, uh, for the sword. And when the light comes on, uh, right? So the, the, the torch is lit. Uh, Damn it. Um, Rectons has been backed sure. into the corner of the room. He has, uh, you know, Sizz choked up. Uh, you know, he's holding him by the fur. And you have the, you have the sword I've got the sword up on your throat. Okay. Point for, you know, point in. So yeah. I can, mm, okay. if I need so, to. Right, so he's got the sword low and, and right prepared to, he's got a, you know, a, a strange, but. Like, yeah. yeah. And you and Haz are. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh. Damn it. Um, uh, so I think the initiative is yours. I take out my flute. Uh, <laughs> Fidian is, 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 is tired of this shit. He's, he's pulling out his swords. He's stepping up behind. The thug, what was his name again? Has. Has. He's standing up behind Has. Out comes the sword, pricked right into Has's back, and uh, blasted sub creatures. <laughs> oh, I you see how know, it is. You, you should know better than to uh, try such tricks up, up on one born under the Elder Stars. Has kind of gives a. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you come from? Yeah, uh, Brechtans. You can see that. Uh, you can see that we are we are among. Uh, the, the, the younger races, cowards who cannot be trusted. Let us the crazy let, 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 let us be companions. <laughs> let, us, let us walk back to back from this uh, from this foul place. We will we will uh, we will determine what what is to be done with this sword later. Perhaps your claims are right, but I also but but perhaps the elves also have a claim. In either way, it will be of little use to us mm -hmm. should we be uh, murdered down here by such foul creatures. As for you, <laughs> you were hired. To do this thing, and uh, if you wish to see the sun again, I would advise you to uh, to come with us and think of no alliances with these untrustworthy creatures. You're awful angry, awfully quickly. Everything will be fine. We, what are we going to do? Are we going to leave now? Yes. Now. Now. Before we know what's going to happen, and you're going to betray all of these people who will keep us here. Think of every step that you will take. Yeah. Brechtans, shall we go? <laughs> we will. <laughs> yeah. Do they don't value this <laughs> one. It's true. I am nothing. <laughs> you attacked me. Poke, poke. Don't don't be fools. The, the the prophet will have this blade. If you if you value your lives, you will leave it here, and and, and flee immediately. See, he has is watching approvingly. <laughs> <laughs> the prophet you babble of has no meaning to us. You, you cannot find your way back out in in this place. I I am the only guide. Indeed, and you will be coming with us, whether you like How it or about not. You lead us out, and then we pay you. Ha has glares at you. I care only for the profit. <laughs> <laughs> no payment could sway my loyalty to him and his glory. So, Haz puts a hand on your shoulder and says, come, let, let them withdraw. And he kind of digs his little uh -huh. claws into your shoulder. And ratty fingers in. And pulls Let's you aside. <laughs> yeah, so he, he bows magnanimously. <coughs> Please, after you. All right, so yes, I'm, I'm definitely sort of, you know, Attempting to get Brechtans Bre to start edging out of the room along with me. Don't yeah. throw away your lives. <laughs> the, sword, the sword is nothing. It's a, it's a trinket. Uh, probably a fake. If our lives are forfeit, so is yours. Yes, but I am nothing compared to his majesty, the, the, great, the greatness of the prophet. <laughs> Lead them well, sis. And they kind of and has bows low, keeping a, a hand on Robart hostage. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. And uh, okay, and, I will. I'll allows lead them. you to leave the room, and, and he clearly, uh, whoever's out there, he's given the signal to back off. I'm, I'm interpreting Haas a certain way. Go for it. And right. That's it is not for me to say how you interpret. Yeah, it. he's he's leaving it up to me. So uh, you don't want to gonna want to go left. Here. <laughs> Are you lying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just taking you deeper into the dungeon. Okay. I don't, I don't even know where we're going, really. Well, we do. I, you know, we do have some memory of how we came down. So uh, clearly, clearly, uh, it's dark. Things are yeah. twisty. It's Wait, true. You, there were tubes. There were muck-filled tubes. Muck-filled yeah. tubes. Yeah. Well, we, we, maybe Possibly we go through tunnels. the tubes. So, somewhere in the tubes, I'll take a turn. We're trying to. We're trying. We're trying to pay attention Hang and on. check if he is reasonable. I just checked yeah. my my traits. <coughs> I have deep sense, which lets me use perceptions orienteering when underground. 
I do believe that counts. Freaking Not to dwarves, mention, you are tunnel wise, I've heard. And I am tunnel wise. Right. Well, you can do, do one or the other. You can use your tunnel wise or your deep sense. I'll use the deep sense because that's uh, two and a half times many dice. If I have any idea where the other rats came from, if if our nest has a nest down here or something, that I'll I'll that's where I'm gonna be leading them. Yeah. Right. If we um, figure out that he's. Lying. So yeah, you're, right. using, you're using basically uh, this uh, this special trait as a sense of direction. So you'll be able to detect if he's yeah. taking you down wrong turns. I don't know the way out, but I know right. Tunnel wise would allow you to um, remember the way out right. uh, if you wanted to go in that. Uh, go with that. I have way more dice, and this is way more interesting. I do not have falsehoods, so I just gotta <laughs> just gotta go with this. You go, right, you gotta get, confuse them with your knowledge. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus, Colin. <laughs> oh, you're on fire. <laughs> And I'm out of faith. That's uh, yeah, I, I can't. three sixes I, and a five. Uh, nope, I, one success. Oh, okay, so uh, it's definitely definitely left here. I, <laughs> I feel uh, I boom uh, up against the wall. I, 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 I can smell the fresh air of the the, the, the foul freshness of Lies. the above world. <laughs> Don't kill. The only way we get to leave. They let you go. You must have cut some deal. <laughs> Crazy. They eyes. said I could leave. I bartered for the lantern. So, can we not kill our exit? Please? I, I, perhaps I was just confused. Uh, <clears throat> these are twisting passages all alike. Once we're out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'd Great. like to go. I, and, and I agree. Uh, let let, uh, let, let uh, Siz uh, rethink the passage. I'm sure, yeah. okay. I'm sure it was just a mistake. You should gather yourself. Step back. I take your shield. Do you, you let me go? Yeah, I've got your sword point. I take your okay. shield, and then I step back. and He has a sword on him. Yeah, too. I have a yeah. sword in this cupboard. I, I disarm you. You throw my shield in the muck? Yeah. All right, I'm Could checking in with shield. Elf again. I'm, I, I, I give you a look like, seriously? The, the crazy <laughs> greed eyes? Is That's that's really your Meek play it here? Out. You get paid. Yes. I'm, I'm just looking at you like, I'm giving you the look like, yeah. this guy? This is your this is your play. An, ag an agreement was made to pay you. That can still take place. I I noted that you were nervous in the presence of your friend. What? Uh, lies. <laughs> I I have always been loyal. My voice is echoing down the mic too. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I have always been loyal to the his, the glorious majesty of the prophet. I, 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 that has never been in question. Mm. It, it is this one in his in his madness that took him for some f forgery. Why why? Back him uh, in this place. Uh, you, you if elf. You, if you, you wish to be, if you wish to be free of his madness, then then lead us to the service, and we will we will make our make our deal and have done with it. Tool of wits. It's up to John. Uh, if, yeah, if John wants to force. I think I think so. I, I think my utter loyalty to the prophet to, uh, unto death is uh, not necessarily true. It could be, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, let, I think we should find out. 